Hey guys, it's Renee. So for this, I'm going to be using porcelain clay. I'm going to start rolling some clay using my roller with those two rings on each side. I do have the DIY for this too and these are here so that I can have the same thickness all throughout my clay. Then I'm going to be using my Wilton 1M as a cookie cutter, cut to circles. Then I'm going to be using a pen but I'm going to be opening this, removing the ink so that all I have left is like a tube and I'm going to be using that to cut out a smaller circle in the middle of those circles as in the middle as I can make it to be. I do have other earrings using the same technique. If you fancy some more earrings with the same cutout, they're going to be on the cards. Then I'm going to be using my X-Acto knife to just cut and open. I'm working over some wax paper by the way. I do have the review for that wax paper and I'm going to let this dry. If you're working with polymer clay though, I wouldn't bake them just yet. I would just wait for the like next step rolling some more clay but this time I'm going to be using my Wilton 7. I wash all my piping tips once I'm done with them like twice cutting one circle and then I'll use my cutter but I'm going to be opening this like so just because I just want the blade for this. Once I cut this I'm going to be really super careful cutting this once, twice, three, four times and from there I'm going to be taking two pieces and then just roll them into this like tiny spheres and this is how I'm rolling them to just get the perfect circle by the way in between the palm of my hand and my tongue. I'm using some pins to just make a hole in the middle of the circles and then wait for them to dry. If you're working with polymer clay, now is when you make these pieces and the previous ones. I'm going to be painting my bigger pieces with my mustard acrylic paint. I custom made this one and I show you how to. And for my small fears, I'm going to be turning them into four pearls using this pearl white acrylic paint and my tiny brush and giving this two to three coats until they are shiny enough. If I were to do this again, I would just use a bigger brush because this was kind of weird to paint with because of how tiny this is. I'm going to be removing my spheres from my pins and then just place them in this wire cut in the middle. I'm going to be using my crazy glue. I do have the review coming soon. Couple of eye pins. I do have the DIY showing you how to make them. Turning them upside down and glue them on the back. If I were to do this again though or I, if I suggest this to you, I would just use one big eye pin per earring, place my pearl in the middle and then just glue that so that I just glue one wire as opposed to like two if that makes any sense gluing my eye pins with the loop facing towards me feel free to use this as charms for necklaces as well i'm going to be using this ear wires placing my earrings through there and then just close them with my pliers but yeah guys these are the earrings that i want to share with you i love them i love how cozy these are they are pretty lightweight I love how subtle but statement they are and probably at some point I will make the big sister of them just like bigger earrings because I think that it will work for those kinds of earrings. You can wear them with the open facing to your face or just away from your face. I personally prefer that away from the face. I think it looks better dynamic and just more fun. I'm honestly in love with them. I think these are the kinds of earrings that you can wear all year round because mustard and pearls. I think they go with everything and with every season. I really like them. Hopefully you like them too. Give this video a thumbs up. Check out more earrings that I have on my channel and share them. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye.